Well, I know, but I don't know if y'all know, but R. Kelly loved him some McDonald's, but he really was showing up there to get them boys that was working at the drive through allegedly. That's what they saying out here. Now, he had a house full of girls, and everybody say he wrong for that. But what people didn't know is that allegedly in the middle of the night, R. Kelly would put on them high heels with them stockings all the way up to his knees, go in the room with them boys. Now, they saying that R. Kelly didn't want none of them girls speaking to no men. If R. Kelly caught one of his victims looking at another man, he'd get mad. But now they saying R. Kelly had boys he was grooming, teaching them how to put on that makeup, that lip gloss, that eyeliner. I thought R. Kelly liked girls. Come to find out he an all-around freak. It's either that or everybody that want to play a victim is using R. Kelly for their victimage. This new final chapter of surviving R. Kelly, it's an extreme low. He already in jail, but the fact that he was allegedly messing with boys is what got me all the way messed up. Y'all got to listen at this here from a man who says he's a victim in R. Kelly's sex trafficking case. Lewis, as he's being referred to, told the jury he was just 17 years old when R. Kelly lured him to his Chicago area home with false hopes of helping his music career. The two met in 2006 when Lewis was a senior in high school, working at a McDonald's drive through in Chicago. The singer gave Lewis his phone number. Lewis said his mother eventually called Kelly, hoping the R&B star could help her son because Become a rapper. Kelly then invited the family to a party at his Chicago mansion. Lewis testified he and Kelly took a picture together at the party and Kelly whispered he should come to the house next time alone. Lewis started going to the artist's music studio to record and to get feedback. Lewis told Jors on one occasion Kelly crawled up to him and began performing sexual acts on him. Hold on, wait a minute, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. And don't call him R. Kelly no more. Just call him Kelly. He said R. Kelly crawled up to him on all fours. He's sitting there trying to write his rap. He's smoking on the blunt. Next thing you know, you see R. Kelly crawling across the room. Unzip that man's pants. And he just standing there holding the blunt. Well, sitting there in amazement. R. Kelly started doing his thing, y'all. What type of freak? They need to make a comic book about R. Kelly. The Adventures of R. Kelly. He done done it all. Something about that studio, man. When he gets you in there, he go in the studio, turn around three times. Next thing you know, he's Sasha Fierce. Oh my goodness. Had them boys clapping cheeks, the girls clapping cheeks. Ladies to the left. A fellas to the right, you bring them both together, we can do it all night. Shit. I guess so. If these allegations is true. Slip that phone number at the McDonald's drive through Shit, them fries must have been piping hot. He bit that cheeseburger, had to do a double take like, damn boy, you do it like that. Shouldn't have been putting all that salt on that man's fries. R. Kelly was impressed. He was licking his fingers for days after that double cheeseburger. Look, man, the way you put that cheese with the bread, with the mayonnaise, I want to do something for you that's going to make you feel like how I feel. I can't believe this here. Listen at this, y'all rapper. Kelly then invited the family to a party at his Chicago mansion. Lewis testified he and Kelly took a picture together at the party and Kelly whispered he should come to the house next time alone. Lewis started going to the artist's music studio to record and to get feedback. Lewis told Jors on one occasion Kelly crawled up to him and began performing sexual acts on him. Lewis said he felt uncomfortable and Kelly asked to keep the acts a secret. Lewis also told of a time Kelly Kelly snapped his fingers and a young naked lady crawled out from underneath a boxing ring in Kelly. Hold on, wait a minute, y'all. He said Kelly did what now? Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, my goodness. 
the zesty pedo on b crooner said all killer snapped them and old girl came from under the boxing ring for zaddy get him girl the fuck all killer got the snapping them fingers the next thing you know pink smoke filled the room and 15, 10, 15, 15 year old came from under the rain. Now, after he don't slop that Willy Bobo the first time, you came back the second time and the third time and the fourth time. Shit, he was doing Uber Eats before Uber Eats. Oh my goodness. Now, we ain't got no more cheeseburgers, I'll kill it, but I damn sure got this sausage. Oh, killers, he out there. Man. <clears throat> he was zesty or no, man. Which one is gonna be? You can't be both. All that coochie they talking about all Kelly was getting. Ain't no way he likes sausages too. They need to make up their damn mind. He a pedo or shmomo or whoa whoa. They need to make up a new name for all Kelly. Snap no fingers. It probably was just one good snap. He didn't even have to do it twice or three times. Just that. Mm -mm. Is y'all buying this? Matter of fact, Reggie, open up them phone lines because I'm about to get out of here. I can't believe they doing my boy like that, though. Lord have mercy. Oh my goodness. Look, them phone lines open. Your chicken ass want to call in. That's on you. But if you got some sense and you educated and you know how to have a conversation without being goofy, Feel free to call in, you know what I'm saying? But I gotta run this back one more time because I can't even believe this shit. This is my last time running it back. Listen to this, y'all. At his Chicago mansion, Lewis testified he and Kelly took a picture together at the party and Kelly whispered he should come to the house next time alone. Lewis started going to the artist's music studio to record and to get feedback. Lewis told Jores on one occasion, Kelly crawled up to him and began performing sexual acts on him. Oh, Lewis God said is. he felt uncomfortable and Kelly asked to keep the acts a secret. Lewis also told of a time Kelly snapped his fingers and a young naked lady crawled out from underneath oh a boxing goodness. ring in Kelly's garage and she performed sexual acts on both of them. Lewis said he kept seeing Kelly because Hold on y'all. Hello, hello. Who this is here? Sean, this is Tina Lee. What's you know who this on? is. How you feeling, Tina? Sean, I'm I'm disturbed. I come home from the, the, the grocery store and I see the story about the boy I get a little upset and, and say, you see it in your chat. Well, where's the picture? Then you put the picture up and now I'm like, damn. You know, I don't mean to be disrespectful, but how do R. Kelly, you know what? How do we keep it up like that? Trying to want to have sex with all them people. Sister, that's disturbing. That, that's what I'm trying to understand, man. Ain't nobody got that much stamina. R. Kelly, 50 something years old. You mean to tell me he's still slanging D like he in his 20s? Well, maybe he needs, he using some of that nutrigenics by Frank Thomas. I don't know. But is it that sick? How do R. Kelly make money if he's sleeping with, how you got all these people, boys and girls trapped in your house? When do you go make money? That can't be true because he got to write music and you know it's going to take him longer because he can't read or write. Who so, feeding feed all them people? He got a, a cook in there. They got a soup kitchen in there for all them kids. Uh, Sean, if he got people hiding under the boxer ring and all this, and this is incredible. This is incredible. He ain't never going, he has no chance of getting out of jail if this young man keep talking. And no disrespect, you know, and I know it's not the young man, but he looks like uh, Magic Johnson's son. They all do. Oh, God, Sean, we, we need some help. We need Jesus. Man, look, everybody needs Jesus, especially for the people that believe in all this stuff, man. I'm trying to figure out, oh, Kelly must have never left the house. Because if you got people locked in there, you got to feed them, you got to clothe them, you got to do all this stuff. When do you go on tour? And when he is on the road making money, doing videos and stuff, who looking after all these girls? And not saying anything. And they definitely need to be incarcerated. And and you know what? The people that was looking after the kids, they need to get more time than R. Kelly. 
They could have let them girls go while R. Kelly was there. They could have let all the people out and called the police. That would have been a wrap. But they held the people there, so they just as much guilty holding them girls prisoner. That's and apparently boys. Yeah, but this is the thing about it. They said R. Kelly ain't want them girls looking at no other man. So if he had boys there too, then what about the boys and the girls hooking up? Well, he kept them separate or something? You know what? This 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 all sounds just too incredible, Sean. And you know what it boils down to is they. It, I think it's something going on with the money, and they want to make sure he never, ever, ever have a chance of getting that money or ever have a chance of getting out of jail. Man, but you know what? Wherever there's smoke, there's fire. It got to be some truth to some of this, because when he was sitting with Gail Kane, he was looking guilty as all hell, man. Well, and then he was begging. He started crying. Mm. Maybe that worked with his mama, but that don't work with Gail King. She's not interested. She's only interested in the truth for her story. That is it, and that is all. She got paper to make. Yeah, man. I, I just hate to believe that R. Kelly was messing around. He he liked them butterfingers and things, too, man. I just can't believe it. R. Kelly slopping down McDonald's workers and stuff. Them boys get out of school. R. Kelly waiting, bent over on the table. Come get it, daddy. Oh, down at the schoolhouse. Now, this makes you wonder what R. Kelly is allowing to be done to himself in the jailhouse. Oh. Could you imagine? Oh, he probably having the time of his life up in there if this stuff true. He he ain't going to want to get out. Shit, they trying to get in, and he ain't trying to get out. Oh, my gosh, Sean. I, I, you know what? We, we going to pray for our children. Watch your kids, everybody. Yeah. Make sure you... Get off your phone and make sure you know who your kids talking to on their phone. You know what I'm saying? Watch watch what they doing. Just don't let them be in their room with the door closed all damn day. You know what my parents did? We as teenagers took the damn door off the room. You go get your clothes changed in the bathroom to come out. Hold on, your parents did what now? They no no door in your bedroom. They took the door out. You changed your clothes in the bathroom. They want to know what's going on all times. That's that old school stuff, son. Hold on, so you you ain't had no doors in your house? Nope, just on my bedroom. We didn't have a door. You wasn't sneaking in there doing nothing. You were sneaking your boyfriend in. You wasn't sneaking no drugs in. You wasn't doing nothing but homework. You wasn't doing it, and the room had to stay clean. They know if your room clean, because there ain't no door on the damn room. Damn, These man. people, my friend. that's tough love without picking kids. See, these people talking about they don't want to hit their kids. Well, then use your brain. Get creative. You should be able to outsmart a kid, but see, you what predator in a right mind just gonna go get a kid to somebody? A, again, they should go to jail. They got money. That's they real got talk. cashed out. And I don't know how much they sold them doors for, but hell, shit, y'all probably ain't had no pipes, no sink, no toilet, no nothing up there. <laughs> no snatch the damn doors off the wall. That's rough living, you know what I'm saying? But we got so much love for you, sister. And don't be no stranger. Make sure you call back whenever you feel like it. Real talk. Appreciate your phone call, baby. Parents done sold everything. No smoked up the kitchen, smoked up the hello. door. Hello, hello. Who this is here? This is Wanda from Houston. What's going on? And how on? you doing? This is my first time on. I just want to say... I'm not surprised about R. Kelly because mm. the way he was urinating on those young girls and treating those young girls like that, I'm not surprised he was on the down low. I know I figured that on him. I said he must be gay because of the way he's treating women and treating females. He has to be gay. He don't have, no, he's a gay. Yeah, well, he's on the down low. That's the thing about it. If you into men, most men that's mm -hmm. into men, they don't even get turned on by no women like that. Especially well, he, not he, enough he, to be banging everybody. <laughs> he's going both ways. And then he's playing he's playing both sides. You know, he, he got the sugar in his tank. He like both. So we got to add this to the All Kelly saga. Because on the first two documentaries, ain't nobody said nothing about All Kelly being with no boys. Out the blue, it's boys in the picture. How come they weren't front and center with the rest of the victims? Well, the, the young man couldn't be lying because he did show he took a picture with him, and I believe he did do that. He's so freakish and nasty. Yes, he did do it. That boy ain't going to come out of the lie and put himself out there like that. You know, Hold why on, would he sis. do that? There's plenty of people that took pictures with R. Kelly, so just because you took a picture with him, you can make up anything and it's believable? 
I don't think he made it up because why would he do that? I mean, why? Sister, what, what is the purpose? He's not getting any money for it. Wait a minute, baby. They said, oh, Kelly, he said he crawled up to him like Prince on the Dave Chappelle show <laughs> and started giving him fellatio while he was in the studio. Do you believe I, that? Yes, I, I do. Because the way he is and what he did to females, yes, I could tell he do not love women. The way he treat women, yes, I can believe that. You yes. know what? Y'all willing to believe anything negative about no, a brother. No, They could have no, said, I'm oh, Kelly, beat up a old lady when she was crossing the street. I believe it because no, he didn't respect no, 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 women. No, no, I don't believe that. Now, he might respect his elders, but I do believe he a little, he a little freakish and super freakish and nasty. And that's what the, all of them stars doing. They're going both ways. They're doing everybody, everybody doing everybody, passing around every disease there is. Yes, they're doing that. You know what, sister? I would love to disagree with you, but I can't put nothing past all Kelly at this point, man. Hello. I really don't know. He probably just there really that messed up in the game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we want to thank you so oh, much man. for your phone call. Don't make sure. Matter of yeah. fact, make sure you call back whenever you feel like, baby. So much love for you. I, I will. I will. Thank all you. Right. For, thank you. Thank Take you. Take care, man. baby. All right, now. You be good. Damn. Just can't win for losing, all Kelly. I'm tired of trying to defend your ragged ass, bro. If you've been messing with these boys, then, bro, I can't. I ain't going to be able to do it no more, Kelly. You know, this shit rough. Hello, hello, hello. Who this is? Hi, Sean. This is Grace. How are you? Oh, Grace, how you feeling over there? The Caribbean queen and everything. Where you been at? Yes, you know it all too well. Sean, you are so funny. Like, I oh, literally man. am just sitting here cracking up. Oh, man, I appreciate you, baby. How you feel about this thing, man? They talking about R. Kelly. He out there <laughs> crawling. They said he crawled <laughs> up to the boy and unzipped his pants and started doing his thug thing. Oh, my God. First of all, I needed this laugh because I just broke up with my man. So this is just too funny. R. Kelly is crawling to man. What's going to come out next? That he was crawling to animals? I mean, let's put everything on the table at this point. Do you believe that, young man? Do you think he's being coached into saying that? Why is all this coming out now? Listen, I'm not a fan of R. Kelly, but some of this seems a little bit sketchy. Don't you think so? Man, I'm trying to think of why would a grown man go to court and put his business out there like that? Why would he make up a bogus lie like R. Kelly crawled over to him? unzipped his pants and started giving him that sloppy toppy. Oh, not that sloppy toppy. Oh. Listen, I believe it and I don't believe it. It's mm. like 50-50 with me because everything is coming out now. What's next? He peed on somebody. Next, you're going to hear he defecated on somebody. Then he's crawling to somebody. Somebody's crawling from underneath the couch. Somebody's coming from underneath the table. He's in the studio. He's making hits. Somebody's coming out the closet. I mean, Jesus, have mercy. This is too much. This is more than a series. <laughs> yeah, My man. God. It's a never-ending thing, man. Just it's when you a thought never it was ending over. saga. Yeah, it ain't never going to stop. Never. And then he's trying to make another album. Is he going to make another album with this? Who's going to sponsor R. Kelly? Who? Shit, I'm done with R. Kelly at this point, man. After I heard what that man said R. Kelly did. Man, it's bad enough that he messing with all these women, but you double dipping on top of that? He's triple dipping at this point. But let me ask you real quick. Don't you think other people in the industry is guilty just as much as R. Kelly is? Oh, if he's out here crawling, don't you think they're out there swinging? <laughs> of course they are, man. We all know R. Kelly not the only one, but it's starting to look like he may be the biggest freak that we've seen thus far. <laughs> Real talk. And that's a big freak. <laughs> that's a huge freak, man. I can't imagine nobody else. I doubt if they got a track record like R. Kelly. He took it too far. He took it too far, and that was, like I said in the comments, we all have a little freakiness inside of us, right? Mm -hmm. But damn, you have to have a limit. You just can't indulge in everything, you know? Like my mom used to say, too much fan in the pot made the pot no good. So he just sticking it and sticking it everywhere. After a while, it's, it, it becomes no good. Now, look, look where he end up, in the jail. He's going to go under the jail by the time this is finished. Yeah, man. But it's like the people around him turned him into a super predator because he ain't got that much wisdom and that much. How you going to maintain all of this madness without no help? 
Well, I guess the good book was right. Our people suffer from a lack of knowledge. Mm, 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 right? Mm. And all Kelly's suffering what... the most because he act like he ain't had no <laughs> damn sense. <laughs> Doing way too much. Now, you said you broke up with your boyfriend and everything, and I ain't trying to get uh, all in your personal <laughs> business. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah. He broke out. Mm. Yeah, after five years, child. Mm -hmm. He crazy. He's not crazy, but he, he it was something simple. And he took it to the next level, so I just followed suit. I said, okay, if this is how you want it to be, then, you know, let me just co-sign and let, let's let it rock out. So you was with I this man. I called him a weirdo. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sum it up real quick. I said, stop being a weirdo. And he took it to level 10, and he got so mad, and he said, oh, you're speaking disrespectful to me. And then I was like, are you serious? And then he said, oh, if you bought me in the Christmas gift, you could take it back. Okay, say less. And that was it. That's how everything started because I called him a weirdo because he said something that was weird. And what I was, was like, it that he said that was so weird? No, I, he said something. I said something and then I said, stop being a weirdo. Because I said he's being a weirdo, he took it to level 10. He hasn't spoken to me in like almost two weeks now. So isn't that a breakup? Hell no, there ain't no breakup. He gonna wait for you to get your mind together and quit being disrespectful and call his ass I wasn't back. Being, and that's all, all you gonna he do. He was being a weirdo, Sean. Come on, that's yeah, not being disrespectful. That, that ain't enough to break up. Y'all ain't talk. Y'all gonna get back together. And you took back them Christmas presents and things. That's the perfect time to break up around Christmas time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and don't be no stranger. Make sure you call back whenever you feel like, baby. Real talk. She, she the damn weirdo. <laughs> talking about R. Kelly but your boyfriend a damn weirdo that's Negro here no there thank you so much for your phone call baby we really do appreciate you don't be no stranger make sure you call back whenever you feel like man I'm disappointed in R. Kelly cause this man had some bad women's by his side I'm talking about Jocelyn and the, uh, the other one you figure yeah they young but ain't no buts but they was of age you know what I'm saying? But not for his old ass. He was 50-something. They was 20 years old. It was wrong all the way. But damn, he laid up with Terrell, James, Tyrone, the whole basketball team over at R. Kelly house. He come out the back room. Come on, boys. R. Kelly with a face full of makeup on with some dangling earrings. What the female victims was doing while he laid up with them boys. Man, if they would have had some sense, they would have jumped out the damn window. Mama, come get me. Wake up in the morning. R. Kelly downstairs with some booty shorts on making breakfast. Like, damn, girl, I can't find my shoes. You better check in the R. Kelly room. Oh, my goodness. They trying to... I don't know what they trying to do, man. But this shit is rough. This is some rough stuff. Listen at this, y'all years old when R. Kelly lured him to his Chicago area home with false hopes of helping his music career. The two met in 2006 when Lewis was a senior in high school working at a McDonald's drive through in Chicago. The singer gave Lewis his phone number. Lewis said his mother eventually called Kelly hoping the R&B star could help her son become a rapper. Kelly then invited the family to a party at his Chicago mansion. Lewis testified he and Kelly took a picture together at the party and Kelly whispered he should come to the house next time alone. Lewis started going to the artist's music studio to record and to get feedback. Lewis told Jors on one occasion Kelly crawled up to him and began performing sexual acts on him. Lewis oh said he felt goodness. uncomfortable and Kelly asked to keep the acts a secret. Lewis also told of a time Kelly snapped his fingers and a young naked lady crawled out from underneath a boxing ring in Kelly's garage and she performed sexual acts on both of them. Oh Lewis said he kept seeing Kelly because he wanted to make it in the music industry and even brought friends to the parties, including a 16-year-old boy who he said began having sexual encounters with Kelly. It's this nigga bought the homies. Hold on, y'all. Come on, Terrell, it be going down. I promise you, all you gotta do, act like you know how to rap. Come over to the studio. Oh my you gonna get money, you gonna get head, you gonna get girls. Soon as Terrell get over there, R. Kelly, 
Man, I got a headache. It's a sweet ass perfume. Like, who, who wearing all that perfume? It is I. Pull down your pants, boy. Hey, what's up, man? What's going on? Can you turn around for me? Can you do a twirl? Can you do, can you do a little twirl? You know, but the homies over there. Next thing you know, they all in there chilling, smoking weed, waiting on Kelly to get zesty. Come on, man. They need to cut this shit out. Everybody trying to get rich off this. They already got rich off this, man. They just trying to see how much milk they could squeeze out of R. Kelly titty, man. Oh, my goodness. I'm done with it. This shit make me sick. I'm already ain't feeling all that great. Think about R. Kelly. With a leotard with a TR on. Having a tea party with a bunch of little boys, man. Where the girls was at? W which one is going to be? You can't have both. But then again, him and Jay-Z made that song the best of both worlds. Shit, maybe it's some truth to all this. I don't know. Man, I'm about to get out of here. I, nah, man, Kelly. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm gone, y'all. Uh, y'all got to let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment section. I'm disgusted. Uh, Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. You know what I'm saying? Also, hit that notification button. Hit that cash app. I'm through. Where my phone at, man? <clears throat> Anybody hit the cash app? Let me double check. Oh, somebody did hit that cash app. Let me give you a shout out real quick before I get out of here. Reggie, who that uh, hit the cash app, man? This thing be acting stupid. Christine Johnson, I really do appreciate you. That green vegan. Um, My shit acting bootleg right now. Hold on, we got another phone call real quick. Hello, hello, who this is, man? Hello? Hello, hey, 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 how you doing? Hey, what's going on, beautiful? How you feeling over there? Uh, I'm all right. I'm just uh calling in. Yeah, we talking about all Kelly, man. They talking about he had little boys at the house along with the little girls, and he was just doing both of them at the same time he was just a big freak do you believe all kelly was involved with little boys as well i don't believe it you don't believe that part no and why why would mm -hmm. why, well why would he mess with I, most of this stuff ain't true they just trying to get our kelly money mm -hmm. but all kelly already in jail you know you figure hell justice been served he most likely going to be spending the rest of his life in jail. So why in the world would they make us some more stuff to go on top of? Because they, cause they want money. They want to keep him without... Keep him without... Uh, keep him without stuff that he likes. I don't believe this stuff. Maybe he probably was a <clears throat> spirit. Hold on. I ain't going to be able to do this here. But one thing for sure, I want to thank you so much for your phone call and make sure matter of fact you just enjoy your night baby i really do appreciate you i ain't gonna be able to do that there i'm sorry y'all <clears throat> with that say over there i said hit that like mature she was very mature but i also said i ain't gonna disrespect that lady like that there and i want to thank her so much for her phone call but mm -mm. but that's negro here nor there Y'all make sure y'all enjoy y'all night. And one more thing, subscribe to my channel if that's what you want. Subscribe to my channel if that's what you want. But if that's not what you like, then you must be a punk. Hold on now, here we go. Who is this girl? She got that junk in her trunk. Baby girl, back it up, poke out your rump. It's SAT that you want. And my music hit so hard, make you say, oh my God. Hold on, wait a minute before I get out of here. <clears throat> Let me make sure I block all these suckers before I go. I promise I'm about to get out of here, but I swear it'd be some goofy ass niggas in the comment section. I'ma just go ahead. What'd he say? Veronica, you look delicious. This nigga, he thirsty as hell. Let me go and block this dumb ass nigga out of here. Hold on, we got another phone call. Hello, hello, who this is? Yo, yo, what the deal, yo? Uh, oh my goodness. What the fuck? Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, who this is here? 
this Derek, yo, what up? Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my God. Derek? Sure, what's up? What's good? Not a damn thing, brother. Shit, I'm trying to talk about the R. Kelly situation. Hey, man, the floor is all yours. Just go on and talk about R. Kelly. Don't, don't send none of that zest over here. You know what I'm saying? The floor is yours, brother. For sure. But I wanted to say, man, initial thought of their response, man, is that, man, I don't believe that, man, because if you look at all the fire the dude been drugged through, man, all this time, why this stuff just now coming out? How come they didn't bring all this mess out back then, man? And, you know, you look at the situation where one time dude went in this house and his entire house was emptied out. It looked like somebody had called a moving company overnight and took all his pictures, his furniture, and everything off the wall. And this was about five years ago so somebody man with some connections man got it off for this dude man and they trying to make sure that they finish him completely off man i don't think he did that man now he did do some freaky stuff on the showtime at the apollo that i thought was inappropriate he you know the girls was yapping and yelling at him and he came out ran across the screen and he was like if you want to go home with me all you gotta be is 18 and he started pumping in the air and they started going crazy I just felt that was kind of inappropriate, man, because, you know, they always be like, if a female 18, she ready to go. But me, as a man, I don't want no damn 18 year old for a female, bro. I want a woman that's matured and fully grown, man. So I know dude got some freaking stuff he done done with all his bumping grounds, video and foreplay, but I don't believe that, man. And I ain't going to make this about myself, but I just want to say people will come to court and lie on you, well, bro. Why you do it, bro? Why you do it? Why you do it? And it's kind of funny how you call up in here with all this secret R. Kelly information. And we talking about this male victim that exposed R. Kelly. And just before I was getting ready to get out of here, close the show, seal the deal, you call up here exposing R. Kelly, bro. Why you do it? I'm just saying I'm giving the people the information that they need to know to be able to come to a sound judgment. But it was all right guilty? when R. Kelly was on all fours crawling up in the studio when you was trying to write your raps and everything but now oh, that he in jail no. you want to call this man out no i ain't calling him out i'm just giving out accurate fair information and people can you know do what they want with it but i'm saying i don't believe he did that bro so you think all kelly innocent man that particular uh allegation right there hell yeah man come on what the hell would he do something like that for man what he got the game with that this man got all these beautiful women. He can go to any beach, any country, any state. I mean, what would you want with a hard body male, painted face, looking like, man, come on, it just don't sound right to me, bro. Hey, bro, some people just want to know how much they can get away with. All Kelly probably figure, I want to test my celebrity. What if I crawled over to this man? What he going to do? I'm all Kelly. And seeing that he ain't do nothing, he probably figure, what else can I get away with to mess his young mind up for the rest of his life? He's snapping his finger, people coming from under the stages and shit. Who knows? And we appreciate your phone call. Make sure you call back whenever you feel like real talk. Uh, Hello, hello. Who this is here? Hey, I got to say something that's oh, just really bothering me about this whole R. Kelly thing. Mm -hmm. Why is it that people don't want to believe that R. Kelly can be a molester just because he made good music some Ooh, people just don't want to believe it but but the proof is in the pudding mm -hmm. uh, i mean how many more people have to come out how much more proof do we need uh, i mean it's just obvious yeah it's it's just obvious like we just need to stop and people need to really look, take a hard look at themselves. Mm -hmm. The man is guilty. We just let it go and realize that the man has issues. He needed counseling. He needed some assistance. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, he didn't get it. He made some mistakes. Mm -hmm. Now he's in jail and we just need to let it go. That's real tall sister. I could see if it was a one time thing and somebody accused R. Kelly or something, and nobody ever accused him again. But people been making allegations for at least thirty years. Yeah, this is this has gone on far enough, and we as a community need to learn how to say enough is enough when it's somebody in our community that has a repeat um, offender. Like, mm. just l let's be able to come together and say, okay, okay, at this point, he has a problem. Yeah, we need to stop being like. Oh, well, because he made happy people and step in the name of love, 
we can't, you know, afford to lose any more black artists. So it's okay that he did that. And them girls probably were sad. No, that's inappropriate. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's inappropriate. And we can't pick and choose. If that man was white, oh, oh, hell would have broke loose. We would have been like, oh my God, this is, this is oh, ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Oh, get the police right away. But because he's black and he made music, we're allowing him to ransack our community and rape our women. When is he not going to be enough? I'm, I'm just tired of it. Hold on. Wait a minute. Sister, I hear what you're saying, but let's be real here. Women was throwing themselves at all, Kelly. It ain't like he was just oh, some monster no, out here no. running down the street, couldn't get a female to even look in his direction. He just got to snatch the panties. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, sir. A uh, rape is not about how many women you can get. It's about control and power. That's what that's what rape and molestation is about. But what it's not if, about how many women you could get. What if the women was willing? No, no. I'm yeah. not going to even let you put that narrative out there. Hold on, wait a minute. Because so you you've like never been in that Kelly, situation. All Kelly not the type of person that would have willing participants. That's a separate entity. When you're talking about consensual relationship between a, a normal man and a normal woman, that's a will of situation. When you're talking about someone who is a sexual deviant and someone who is sick and has problems, there is no consensual situation there. But Those you know how many people things. made babies to all Kelly's music? How many people still making love to this man's music? How many R&B singers out there that sing about the same stuff but worse? Then R. Kelly, all this music that's out here today, it ain't got nothing to do with nothing but sex. And that's what I just said. We, If this man was white and had the same nice music, nobody would ever bring up the fact that he made songs. It would be about, oh, my God, a white man was touching our black, beautiful daughter. But because he's R. Kelly, it's okay for him to molest and affect the lives of beautiful black women no absolutely not one person has to take a stand and say this is disgusting and this is wrong and i'm not going to let you sit up here and spin that you gonna tell me what about... i'm gonna do up on my own damn show <laughs> you got me over here reaching for my damn belt what the hell going on around here uh -uh. You, you not gonna let you not gonna let, let me do what I want to do. Good music <clears throat> that ain't what I said. That ain't it. what I said. Uh -uh. Now you putting words in my mouth. You know what's wrong with this whole thing, sister? People hyped up because of these damn drama series, documentaries that keep on coming out, man. What nobody think about R. Kelly until we got bombarded with all this R. Kelly stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's just too much. I, I don't even. I, I oh. I don't even like discussing it. Hold on, but baby. I'm just tired of hold on, sister. people talking about the music. Wait, and hold on, wait, 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 ugh. wait. Now we got somebody in the comment section. Keep on talking about hang up on her, hang up. Suck it ain't like you gonna call in. <laughs> Let me get rid of this punk. Matter of fact, let's let's block his ass together. I need you to okay, get me one, the word. Two, three. His name Jonathan one, Thor. One, two, three. You ready to do this? Here we one, go. two, three. Block. Block his ass. Gone forever. To hang up, but hang Jonathan, up. You, mm -hmm. Jonathan, you ain't got the word because I'm not to go anyway. Real why talk. you up there talking about hang up? Yeah, and but he ain't so never we love you. Oh, I love you. We too, love baby. you as usual, but mm -hmm. you know, just represent for the women and protect us, and don't be letting nobody come and, 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 and sway your decision on protecting your black queen real talk man i ain't never gonna do that but we ain't even talking about the black queens and you over here jumping down my throat over something r kelly did allegedly <laughs> and we talk about these boys how you feel about these boys do you feel the same way you feel about these women that you feel about these boys you know what i'm saying because you call up here yes. on a super feminist type of vibe and everything everybody know what time it is and you got every right to feel the way you feel because you a strong black woman but how you feel about these boys r kelly allegedly been messing with I feel just as bad for the boys because mm -hmm. I have brothers mm -hmm. and I know you, you are male and I have a husband and a son. I don't want nobody getting violated and, and, and touched without their permission and all that. That's just inappropriate. That's real I talk. I don't think R. Kelly need help. 
but just get him off the street. Just keep him behind Paul. Yeah, man, and that's where he gonna be at, especially with the help of you and the rest of the sisters. He ain't never getting out of jail. And that's why I wanna <laughs> thank you so much for your phone call, baby. We really do appreciate you. And don't be no stranger. Make sure you call back whenever you feel like real talk. All right, take care now. Oh my God, Gail King 2.0. Tell me what you gonna allow me to do. What you ain't gonna suck it. Now your ass block, nigga. Oh, Mercy, thank you so much for your phone call, baby. But you all the way out of line. But that's Negro here no there. I can understand why women so upset about R. Kelly. But come on. Y'all be the main one. If R. Kelly went to her house right now on a rainy night. And she opened the door. R. Kelly, can you let me in so I can use your phone, please? Sure, R. Kelly. She'll go upstairs, take off them granny panties, <clears throat> put on that lingerie. Hey, that's enough now. Shit, she'll probably a, a rape R. Kelly. Talk about here, damn rapist. You know how many women throw their panties at R. Kelly when he was on stage, man? You know how them women be fighting the barricade? They jumping over the barricades to get to R. Kelly. To my he a monster. He just out here. Whatever. Listen at this, y'all. I think people are ashamed of the role that they had. I think people are scared to come out and say what their role was because they could end up also facing charges for what they. No, they ain't got Ling Ling on there. Hold oh on, y'all. She looking like LL Cool J. Angela motherfucking ye. She don't want nothing to do with the Breakfast Club no more. Because DJ Envy and Charlemagne and God keep on stealing her men's. Every time she bring a brother up there, next thing you know, Charlemagne got his number. DJ Envy trying to see what's good. Now she hating on R. Kelly. Let me show y'all something. And no disrespect to Angela Yee. <clears throat> You make the best shrimp fried ch fried chicken fried rice you ever had in your life. Hold on, look at this, y'all. LL who J. The old LL. I keep it real, y'all. You can't tell me Angela Yee don't look like LL Cool J. A little bit. Hold on, go back to Angela Yee. Oh shit. Wait a minute. Of the role that they had, I think people are scared to come out and say what their role was because they could end up also facing charges. I gotta get a good look at her. Oh, they look like they could be twins. The, the, the big smolded face and everything, man. And I don't mean no disrespect to this queen, but she talking bad about R. Kelly just because every man in your life took every boyfriend you ever had. LL and Janet Jackson together. The fuck going on with her hair? Don't rip off Patty LaBelle hairdo. They said LL Cool J one of the zestiest brothers in the game. Shorty keep that a secret and don't tell nobody. <clears throat> but that's Negro here no there. Uh, get back to that for what they did to assist R. Kelly. And a lot of them, I'm sure, are thinking about themselves. Some people might be ashamed. Some people might not want to face the public scrutiny. There are so many people that enabled R. Kelly. And for what it's worth, let me just be clear, R. Kelly is not the first of his kind. Because if Me Too made it to the music industry, there'd just be no music industry. <laughs> I mean, it is. Hell no, no, they didn't get Amanda Seals to talk about them. Y'all want to know what I think this is, man. And I don't mean no disrespect to my women's out there. But the women's going at all Kelly don't even like men. Oh my goodness. And that's their problem. Why y'all worried about all Kelly? Need to do a documentary on one of them females out there. The Queen Latifah. Surviving Queen Latifah. Oh my goodness. When y'all gonna do that? And sit around and talk about how Queen Latifah. Look, I love Queen Latifah. I can't think of nothing bad to say about her. And even if I did have something bad to say, I ain't gonna disrespect the queen. But I'm just saying, 
every last one of these women look like they ain't never touched a man before. Amanda Seals and Angela Yee. And um, what's the chick? Grace Jones. What's her name? Something Jones. I can't even think of her name. But these women, and a lot of y'all women out there hate men so much. Y'all ain't got no business speaking on no man, regardless of what he did, because it's going to be messed up, regardless of what y'all say. That's like a brother that can't stand women. A man that despises women speaking on some females. If you don't shut your hating ass up, that's how I feel about these women coming out, speaking about R. Kelly, man. Is rife with this type of behavior. He simply is somebody who was so bold with it and committed to this. Is that Joel Santana? They got LL Angela Yee and Jewel's Amanda Seals, man. I think I did a video about that back in the day. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Look just like a damn man. Worried about <laughs> worried about what's going on with our Kelly, man. They need to find some women that we know that love men. Ask Sanaya Latham what she think about R. Kelly. She be like, oh my gosh, his music was just, it was so beautiful. It's a shame. Ask Nia Long how she feel about R. Kelly. She probably couldn't even sit still in her seat. Who R. Kelly, he just, I don't know. He sent chills down my spine. Hold on, let me see if she was ever with R. Kelly. Hold on. Speak, look at him. Speaking of the women I was talking about, Lord have mercy. Oh Y'all see that shit? Why they won't ask them about R. Kelly? Sanaya Lathan, she loved her some R. Kelly. Nia Long, all these heterosexual females in the music industry ain't got nothing bad to say about R. Kelly. It's just a man being a man, you know? Mm, 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 mm. But they want to see what Gail King and the, uh, the leader of the Me Too movement got to say about R. Kelly, man. That ain't no fair. Ask this female how she feel about R. Kelly. She looked like she very pleased with this man. <laughs> she just told him what she want to do to him. He like, what? Like, R. Kelly, I'm going to... Like, oh my God. Look, women that like men, love them some R. Kelly. Mm, 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 mm. I could go on for days and days, man. Now they saying R. Kelly was involved with some boys, man. God damn, she knows she look good. She gonna look good forever. Oh, Lord have mercy. Nia, she get better with time, y'all. Better with time. Oh, they have mercy. That's the finest one. Her and Sanaya Lathan. They the best. The DJ Khaled's of actressism. We the best. Lord have mercy. Mm, 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 mm. Sexual chocolate. She remind me of a fudge round. Uh, um, All them chocolate little Debbie snacks. Mm, 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 mm. Hold on, y'all. Hello, hello, who this is here? Hello? <phone rings> Fuck out of here, Nougal. Back to Nia Long. Shit. Look, she with R. Kelly all the time. Who that there? Love her some Kelly. Look, they had an R. Kelly sleepover. Had breakfast and everything. Mm -hmm. that, that damn Sonalathan, boy. Regina King old tight casted ass. Hold on. Ever since that scary movie, she been goofy as hell in every movie she ever. Hello, hello, who this is here? The hell going on with these idiots calling up here? Reggie block every last one of them bumble clock before I get out of here, man. I'm gonna block this one. Now who, the last one I called, I'm gonna, nope, block that ass too. Oh. <clears throat> Hold on, I'm about to tell y'all about, not Regina uh, King, Regina Hall. Cause they said she a big fan of R. Kelly too. 
But ever since that scary movie, she been goofy in every movie. I don't give a damn what it is. She gonna be in the scary movie role for the rest of her life. Who the hell is that right there? Hold on. Who the fuck is that? Damn, they photoshopped the shit out of her face. Hold on. They're a little too close, ain't they? And we all know about Gabby. And then Sonia Lathan bite Beyonce ear off or something like that. Damn, something ain't right by I, I could feel the energy. The energy ain't no good. The hell they got going on? Look, I don't be doing that girly gossiping and spilling tea. You know what I'm saying? Plus, I got these zesty ass men all on the screen, lip gloss popping. I'm about to get the hell out of here. Y'all make sure y'all do me a favor. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment section. I got so much love for y'all. And once again, for the people that hit that cash app, let me show y'all some love, man. Because uh, a few more people hit that cash app. And I got, matter of fact, let me just take the money. <clears throat> okay, I got the money now. <clears throat> uh, It was only $2. Not only, look, $2 is a lot of money. But I ain't about to give out your whole Instagram and everything. But I appreciate the $2. Matter of fact, let me give you a shout out. G Genetic. Thank you for the $2, brother. And hopefully you get your food stamps next week. That way you won't be begging for me to send a cash app back like you did last time, man. And one more thing. Subscribe to my channel if that's what you want. Subscribe to my channel if that's what you want. But if